Hey Taurus, what's up? My name is Jenny. Welcome to Divine Family Tarot. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for you. I'm going to be doing past, present, future. I haven't done that spread in a while, so why not today? Let's see what's going on for Taurus. Taurus. You might be going, you might be traveling right now, going places, being a tourist. If I said Taurus, I could be you making plans to go travel at the moment see that making plans to travel possibly like vacation maybe even friends or family coming definitely not going alone maybe reuniting with someone what's going on for taurus Keep in mind that these are general readings. If you're interested in a personal reading, go ahead and click on the description box below for my website information and how to book with me. So. Hmm. Okay. What you don't see coming is new love. New love at the bottom of the deck. You don't see it right now. You might be experiencing something that is a little heavy on your shoulders. You might feel like you're really busy at the moment. Here in the recent past, it looks like someone um, maybe trying to get back with you from the past with the judgment card that just shows me that you have a history with this person. Maybe um, someone from your past trying to, um, maybe it doesn't even have to be full blown, let's get married, but it could be kind of like, let's hang out or let's, you know, Something like that. Now this person comes out as the king of wands. There's someone you're very attracted to. Current situation. I don't see you entertaining anything new. You're currently blocking it. Um, now you might not feel that way. But it's coming out that way. You might be unaware that you're blocking yourself. But you're blocking yourself from starting something new with um, the Fool and the Eleven of Wands. I see a connection pop possibly coming to an end, possibly coming to an end. Um, I see a connection possibly coming to an end, someone you have a lot of memories with, someone you're very attracted to. Um, however, I see new love, someone you're very also very attracted to, and, and this has potential. Um, yeah, I see like an ending to a situation. So I'm going to clarify. Let's see. What is the judgment card? Some of you guys can be traveling right now with the world there. This could have been a person who maybe involved you in some unnecessary drama. Maybe they had their options. Um, there looks to be options in between you guys um, and arguments over that. So this is someone who's actually still in the same energy. They could be giving off a vibe that they're healing from something. Um trying to do better for themselves, but they're still in the energy of 
whatever that is, uh, a lot of, there's a lot of people there in between. This person is interested in being successful. I see this person just, you know, focused on wanting to be successful, focused on their money, focused on themselves. Um, they could also be trying to figure out different ways to come towards you. But I don't feel like they do too much they might try to they might try to figure out ways but i don't know if they do too much when it comes to action with the hangman being there let me see this two of swords yeah you're i see a new connection coming in for you one that's uh, possibly really um, it has a lot of potential, and I see you trying to block it, but it's like coming in anyways. So, yeah, that's the way it looks. Now, for others of you, if that doesn't resonate, if that doesn't resonate, then what I'm seeing here is you blocking yourself from re-entering anything with, uh, with someone. You're trying to hold back from someone. Clarify the full. I see this being someone new. Possibly um, also a fire sign. You, you're pulling fire. Uh, it could. Okay, so I have two scenarios. It could be this person from your past that kept you in some kind of confusion. Um, trying to restart something with you with the judgment and the fool here. Trying to restart something with you. Maybe you guys are texting, communicating, maybe even just staying friends at the moment. However, this person's in the Knight of Wands energy. Knight of Wands and Page of Wands, like that's very young energy. That's um, this is non-committal. So if they're telling you they want a new start here with you, they're non-committal. These are these are cards of non-commitment. Passion, yeah. Commitment, nah. Like not even. Maybe, maybe even some kind of a friend zoning, but there's attraction here, definitely. And communication. Let me clarify the lovers. For others of you, if this is a new person coming in, I see you talking to someone new and it's starting slow and kind of building. You might meet this person through friends, through a friend group that could be family. Even you might meet this person at a party, at an event. But I see it being really slow because I see you trying to kind of block it. You might be holding back from it. Yeah, this is this old person. Okay, hold on. Let me clarify the Six of Cups too. It's like, um, soulmate energy coming in for you 
Uh, I see you waiting for somebody to change someone, <laughs> this person that you're kind of stopping yourself from jumping back in with. I see you waiting for someone to kind of change your toxic behavior or to change to, to, you know, to create a tower moment. I see you waiting for it here in the near future. But then I also see someone you coming in, you communication with someone with the page of cups. There's someone new here. I've said it already. Someone new and they come in with the emperor um, energy, which is total boss. This is somebody who they're, they're a boss. Like this is a counterpart to the empress. I mean, if you're a male, this is like the empress for you. It doesn't matter. It's just, you know, like the counterpart. See someone new coming in. And as I say, as I say that, <laughs> as I say that, Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Let me see the world. I see you being very confident, however, having options. Um... You might not see that coming. It's coming in pretty quick. I see you having options as soon as something ends. Like you're going to have options right away. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Any advice for Taurus? No. It's this deck. Any advice for Taurus? beware of someone coming towards you that you might not be speaking to too much at the moment who's a little stubborn and for others of you this new person coming into your life you don't know them yet or you might know who they are, but you're not in communication just yet. So those are two separate messages for you. What else is coming in for Taurus? Messages for Taurus. You get fed up, rejected, cyberbullying, photo proof, getting evidence, clout hungry. All right. So basically, you're going to hear, you're going to hear, um, you might hear what someone's been saying about you. And I see you distancing yourself from someone with the cyber bullying and all this photo evidence and all this, it looks like someone's going to turn things around and make things look like it was your fault with clout hungry. I feel like that's an energy of wanting to look like good, you know, innocent. Like you got it going on basically like someone who doesn't want their image to be tarn tarnished probably throw you under the bus type of thing. So be careful with energy like that. Anything else for Taurus? I see you communicating with someone new. Hmm. 
<clears throat> Ooh, okay. All right, I see communication uh, from someone new. I see it starting slow. I see it progressing into something that could lead to marriage. Um, definitely. Now, this is a whole separate story. If some of you guys got any court cases coming up, any kind of something like that, I, I see you really wanting the worst for whoever this is coming up. It's like, I feel like it's justice. But let me pull two cards, two of these. No, two of these to clarify, just to make sure. It kind of feels like that, you know? Yeah. Definitely, if you're involved in some kind of a case, and no, I'm not giving you legal advice or anything crazy like that. Um, I see things going in your favor. I see you not having to deal with that issue anymore. Whatever that is for you. I don't know. So that's good news there. Uh, that is your reading, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new, subscribe and hope to see you next time. Bye.